Hey guys, what's going on? I am taking part in the Audioblocks Creator to Creator initiative. This video is sponsored by Audioblocks in case you didn't guess, but I actually use Audioblocks for a lot of my projects, especially ones using loops because they have so many great loops. I'm going to create something right now in order to take part in this movement and I'm going to show you how I like to create loop-based projects and songs in hopes that it will inspire you to create something of your own. So here is the home page. I am going to check out the loop section and I want to make some guitar driven music. So we will go ahead and take a look at what they got. So here's what came up and cool thing, you can kind of just preview by rolling over a loop. Ooh. I like that. So I'm gonna click on that, see what we got. All right, so it looks like 80 BPM right here. Uh, that's helpful to know when you are making a loop-based project because everything has to be in the same speed, right? So I'm gonna download that. So now that I know what the tempo of my song is gonna be, I can sort it by tempo and we'll pull this down to 80 so we only get So that's one we started with. So we're gonna use a little ear training to uh, make sure we're in the right key. Sounds like the same key. So we'll go ahead and download that one. Also sounds like the same key. And how about one more? Sounds like it could work. All right, now I think we should get some drums. Let's go to percussion, see what we come up with in the loop section. And we're gonna change the tempo to 80 again. And I kinda want something like real flowing, like laid back, kinda like the guitar parts. That's pretty cool. I like that one. All right, so that does it. I'm going to put all those loops into a logic session and I'm gonna create new tracks for them. So let's go ahead and put our tempo to 80 and start building. So let's just check it with the metronome to make sure we are indeed at 80 BPM. Yep. So now, as I like to do with loops, let's go ahead and loop them. Start with a nice four measure groove and add some guitar. Nice. Let's go ahead and loop that. Now let's see if this works over this piece. Works great. Go ahead and loop that and we'll pan it out so we don't have too much on top. Now I'm going to repeat with the rest of the parts and then grab some real instruments and create something awesome.
that was awesome. Uh, if you guys want to make your own loop-based projects and a whole bunch of other stuff, there's like sound effects and music that you can use for videos that you make or backing tracks. I've done a video in the past with audio blocks uh, using their backing tracks to just shred over all these different genres. It's really fun. There's a hundred thousand uh, sounds, backing tracks, loops, etc. on audio blocks and you can get a seven day subscription for free. Just click on the link down in the description and you can do that. Join the creator to creator initiative. That's what I did this project for so I hope you grab your free subscription you don't have to buy anything just try it out and you can tag me on Twitter and use that hashtag and I can hear your projects and let you know what I think that would be so cool wouldn't it alright guys I hope you enjoyed this little video and until next time keep shredding